this and I've only witnessed it. But mm. you know that in seed form, it's just a seed. Well, In seed form, you only have symptoms that something may be going on on the inside of you. Okay. Yes. In seed form, maybe you missed your monthly and that was an alarm mm. yes. to let you know that something may not be right. Well. See, it's amazing that when God has given you something in seed form, there are symptoms that you're able to assess early if you're sensitive to the Holy Ghost. Mm. But the closer <coughs> you get to the birthing, the closer you get to the actual time, the closer you get Ooh. to the place where you're supposed to birth this thing out, yes. the more uncomfortable things you <coughs> get. Oh, oh yes, yeah. say it, Pastor. Yeah, I, I believe that maybe it's the first trimester that you, you start to have morning sickness, you know, where, mm. where you can't eat any and everything. See, the problem with most of us, Brother Pitts, is that we allow any and everybody to feed us when we've been impregnated, and we don't understand why we're spiritually throwing up. We don't understand why we're emotionally and psychologically throwing up. It's because, let me help you with this. When it comes to the law of reciprocity, you don't get to choose what kind of baby you have. Woo. The only thing you get to choose is what kind of seed you allow somebody to put in. All right, all right. Yes, sir. Uh, 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 I, 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 don't, I don't need no help. Yes. I brought my own help today. Yes, I, I, yes, see, the problem with most of us is we believe that we're able to dictate what the baby is going to look like in month nine. Yes. No, 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 baby. You don't get to pick what the baby is going to be like in month nine. The baby is determined from the moment the seed is impregnated you. See, that's why you got to be very careful that you don't allow any and everybody to speak into your spirit. You don't allow any and everybody to speak into your emotions. Because, see, what will happen is it's not just the good things that birth out babies, but it's seed that birth out babies. See, the problem with most of us, the reason why we don't have a bit spiritual life is because we don't have a spiritual seed. Mm. Yeah, yes, the most problem yes. with most of us is even when we quote a few scriptures, it's not a spiritual seed. Yes. It's a religious concept. Well, yes. See, you just became great at being able to regurgitate cliches yes. like when blessings go up. I mean, praises go up, blessings come down. Well, let me let you know something. That's not really a scripture. That's a cliche. Let me tell you this, that baby, I don't care how much you send praises up. The only way to release blessings is to become a giver. The only way to re release blessings on your life is to do what God has said concerning you. I don't care how anointed you are. I don't care how gifted you may be. I don't care how many tongues you can speak. God is never going to bless you past his word. There is no scapegoat for doing what God has no said. Say, 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 yes. But the problem with most of us, woman of God, is we want to deal with the baby. Mm. When the baby is about to be born. My God. Mm. But the truth of the matter is, it's not about the baby. Mm. It's about the joker I was sleeping with to make the baby. Mm. It's about the atmosphere that I was in when I was allowing people to impregnate me emotionally well, and to give me all these religious right. and these traditional concepts that mean absolutely nothing. Yes, See, yes. just because somebody said it doesn't make it true. Well, <laughs> See, I told you this years ago, some time ago, there was a man that told me, he said, there's people that love you. There's people that are concerned about you. There are people that have your best interests at heart. There are people that are sincere concerning you, man of God. He said, but they are sincerely wrong. Hey. See, just because somebody loves you don't make them right. That's right. See, the only thing that creates liberation is truth. The Bible says the truth that you know will make you free. It's not the scriptures that you quote that make you free. It's not the church cliches that you recite that make you free. But it's the truth that you know. Well, preacher, what is the truth? The Bible says thy word is truth. The problem with most of us is we become great at having church. We become great at making sure that we attend at least 52 times a year. But I still ain't got no word. It's amazing to me how you can sit in church for